Hello everyone, I am Teacher Dana, your English teacher from Concierge at School. Today, we are going to learn about My Family, Unit 1 on your class books. So, what are we going to learn today? Today, we are going to learn about, first, we're going to learn about family members on page 4. Next, we're also going to learn about Comparatives on page 5. Third, we're also going to learn about months of the year on page 6. Next, we're also going to learn about numbers in words and sentences on page 7. Also, we're going to learn about different kinds of flags from different kinds of countries on page 8. And last but not the least, we are going to answer your class book and in your yellow book. So I want you to listen to me and follow my instructions. But first, let us sing a song entitled Finger Family Song. Okay, I want to show I want you to show me your hands and wave your fingers. Show me your hands and wave your fingers. Daddy finger, daddy finger. Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Mommy finger, mommy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Brother finger, brother finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Sister finger, sister finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Baby finger, baby finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Show me your hands and wave your fingers. Very good. Now I want you to tap your shoulders and say, good job. Okay. Now, I have a question for you. What family members were mentioned in the song? There were five, right? First, we have here, who is this? What picture is this? He is... Daddy! Very good! How about picture number two? Who is in the picture? Who is that? She is... Mommy! Very good! Next, picture number three. Who is that? Who are those? They are brother and sister. Very good. Next, who is that? It's the baby. Very good. Now we have there daddy, mommy, Brother, sister, and baby. Daddy, mommy, brother, sister, and baby, they are called what? They are called a family. Now, what is a family? A family is a group consisting of parents and children living together in a household. So, let's read again all together. A family is a group consisting of parents and children living together in a household. Now, there is another kind of family. It is called extended family. Everybody repeat after me. Extended family. Now, what is an extended family? An extended family is where your grandparents, your uncle, your aunt, your cousins are living with you in a household. Now, let's read all together. Extended family is where your grandparents, your uncle, your aunt, your cousins are living with you together in a household. Now, I will show you different kinds of pictures and tell me what picture is that or who is in that picture. Picture number one. Who do you think is he? He is... 
Grandpa. Very good. Now, what is a grandpa? A grandpa is the father of your mother or father. Again, grandpa is the father of your mother or father. Next, picture number two. Who do you think is she? She is? She is who? She is? Grandma! Very good! Now, who is grandma? Grandma is? The mother of your father or mother. Again, grandma is the mother of your father or mother. So if grandpa is the father, grandma is the mother of your father or mother. How about picture number three? Who is he? He is? He is father or dad. Very good. Now, what is a father or a dad? Father or dad is the husband of your mother. Again, father or dad is the husband of your mother. How about picture number four? Who is she? She is your mother or mom. Now, what is a mother or a mom? A mother or a mom is the wife of your father. Again, mother or mom is the wife of your father. She is also the woman who gave birth to you. Again, let's read all together. Mother or mom is the wife of your father. She is also the woman who gave birth to you. Very good. Now, picture number Six. Who is he? He is what? He is who? He is? Uncle. Very good. Now, what is an uncle? An uncle is the brother of your mom or your dad. Again, let's read all together. Uncle is the brother of your mom or your dad. Now, picture number seven. Okay. Who is she? She is your aunt. Now, what is an aunt? An aunt is the sister of your mom or your dad. Again, let's read all together. Aunt is the sister of your mom or your dad. So, if uncle is the brother, aunt is the sister of your mom or your dad. Next picture. Who are they? They are? They are who? They are? Brother or sister. Very good. Now, what is a brother or a sister? A brother is for boys. You call brother when they are boys. And sister is for girls. So, brother and sister, those are your siblings. Now, let's read all together. Brother and sister... Brother is for boys, sister is for girls, and they are your siblings. Okay, next. Okay, now let's learn comparatives. Everybody repeat after me. Comparatives. Now, what is a comparative? A comparative is comparing two different things by adding I-E-R or E-R. Now, let's have an example. Everybody repeat after me. Tall, taller. Again, tall, taller. Next, we have here, big, bigger. Again, big, bigger. Also, we have here, smart, smarter. Everybody repeat after me. Smart, smarter. Number four, we have here, small, Smaller. Again, repeat after me. Small, smaller. Next, number five. Thin, thinner. Again, thin, thinner. Next, we also have here. Fast, faster. Again, fast, faster. Short, shorter. Again, short, shorter. Slow, Slower. Again, slow, slower. 
Now I'm going to show you different kinds of pictures and tell me and describe to me or give to me what are their comparatives. Now picture number one, what do you think is the word? The word is tall. Very good. Now what about picture number two? If picture number one is tall, how about picture number two? Taller. Very good. Next, picture number three. What do you think is the word? The word is big. Very good. If picture number three is big, how about picture number four? Bigger. Very good. How about picture number five? What do you think is he? He is fat. Very good. How about picture number six? Fatter. Very good. Okay, now, I want you to open your books on page five. Again, open your class books on page five. I'm going to show you three different kinds of picture. First, there is a green car. Second, there is a blue car. And last, there is a red car. Now, I want you to repeat after me. Everybody repeat after me. Let's read the sentence. The red car is bigger than the blue car. Again, the red car is bigger than the blue car. What do you think is the answer? Is it true or false? I want you to look at the red car and the blue car. Which do you think is bigger? What's your answer? True or false? What's your answer? Is it true or is it false? True. Very good. How about sentence number two? The green car is bigger than the blue car. Again, the green car is bigger than the blue car. What do you think is the answer? Is it true or is it false? About sentence number three. The green car is faster than the red car. Again, the green car is faster than the red car. What do you think is the answer? Is it true or is it false? false. Next, how about picture number four? The red car is faster than the green car. Again, the red car is faster than the green car. What do you think is the answer? True or false? True. Very good. Next. How about number five? The blue car is slower than the green car. Again, the blue car is slower than the green car. What is your answer? Is it true or is it false? True. Next number six. The blue car is slower than the red car. Again, the blue car is slower than the red car. What do you think is the answer? Is it true or is it false? Now, I'm going to show you another picture and tell me their comparatives. Picture number one. Everybody, I want you to repeat after me. The elephant is big than the monkey. Again, the elephant is big than the monkey. What happens to big when it becomes a comparative? Look at the elephant and look at the monkey. What happens to big when it becomes a comparative? It becomes bigger. Very good. Now let's read again the sentence. The elephant is bigger than the monkey. Again, the elephant is bigger than the monkey. Next, picture number two. 
The giraffe is tall than the zebra. The giraffe is tall than the zebra. Look at the giraffe and look at the zebra. What happens to tall when it becomes a comparative? Again, what happens to tall when it becomes a comparative? That becomes taller. Very good. Now let's read again the sentence. The giraffe is taller than the zebra. Again, the giraffe is taller than the zebra. Okay, how about example number three? The donkey is fast than the cow. Again, the donkey is fast than the cow. Look at the donkey and look at the cow. What happens to fast when it becomes a comparative? What happens to fast when it becomes a comparative? Fast becomes faster. Very good. How about example number four? The goat is small than the horse. The goat is small than the horse. Look at the goat and look at the horse. What happens to small when it becomes a comparative? Again, what happens to small when it becomes a comparative? Small becomes smaller. Very good. Now, I want you to open your books again on page 5. I want you to open your books on page 5. I have here a picture, a family where they are having a vacation at the beach. Now tell me if it is true or if it is false. Again, tell me if it is true or false. Number one, everybody, let's read all together. It was sunny. Again, it was sunny. Do you think it is sunny? Yes or no? True or false? What is your answer? Number two, everybody read. The children were sad. Again, the children were sad. Look at the children. Do you think they are sad? Are they sad? Yes or no? True or false? What is your answer? False. Next, number three. The girl was hungry. Again, the girl was hungry. Look at the girl. Do you think she is hungry? Yes or no? True or false? What is your answer? True. Next, number four. The boy was thirsty. Again, the boy was thirsty. What do you think is the answer? Is it True or false? Look at the boy. Is he thirsty? Yes or no? True or false? What is your answer? True. Very good. Next, number five. Mom and dad were cold. Again, mom and dad were cold. Do you think they are cold? They are feeling cold? Yes or no? Is it true or false? What is your answer? I want you to open your books on page 6. Again, open your class books on page 6. Now let's let us sing a song. Sure. January, February, March and April. January, February, March and April. January, February, March and April, 12 months in a year. May, June, July, then August and September. May, June, July, then August and September. May, June, July, then August and September, 12 months in a year. Yes. 
December, October, November, and December, October, November, and December, 12 months in a year. Okay, now, what are the months of the year we have there? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Very good. Now, I want you to open your books on page 7. Again, Open your class books on page 7. Let's learn number in words. Everybody repeat after me. 10, 10. T-E-N, 10. Next, 20, 20. T-W-E-N-T-Y, 20. Next, 30, 30, T-H-I-R-T-Y, 30. Next, 40, 40, F-O-R-T-Y, 40. Next, 50, 50, F-I-F-T-Y, 50. 60, 60, S-I-X-T-Y, 60 70 70 S E V E N T Y 70 80 80 E I G H T Y 80 90 90 N I N E T Y 90 100 100 O N E H U N D R E D. 100. Very good. Okay, now, I want you to open your books again on page 7. And let's read all together. Everybody repeat after me 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Now, I want you to open your books on page 7 and let us answer all together. Everybody repeat after me. 10, plus 50 is what? 10 plus 50 is? What do you think is the answer? 10 plus 50 is? 60. Very good. Next, number 2. 70 plus 10 is equal to? 70 plus 10 is equal to? What do you think is the answer? It's? 80. Very good. Next number, 3. 20 plus 20 is, 20 plus 20 is, what is your answer? Your answer is 40. Very good. Next number, 4. 63 plus 31 is what? 63 plus 31 is, what is your answer? The answer is... 94. Very good. Next number, 5. 32 plus 35 is? 32 plus 35 is? What's your answer? 59. Very good. Next. Number, 6. 92 plus 8 is what? 92 plus 8 is 100. Very good. Number 7. 
number seven. Forty-five plus thirty-five is what? Forty-five plus thirty-five is what? What is your answer? Eighty. Very good. How about number eight? Ten plus twenty-eight is what? Ten plus twenty-eight is what? What is your answer? Your answer is... Very good. Good job. Okay. Next. I want you to open your class books on page 8. Again, open your class books on page 8. And we are going to learn about flags. Flag number 1. What flag is that? From where con from what country is that? From the country of Egypt. Very good. Next, number two. What flag is that? That is a flag of? Flag of what? Flag of the UK. Very good. How about flag number three? From what country is that? What flag is that? Flag of the country? Russia. Very good. Next. How about number four? What country is that? It's your country and that is Thailand. Very good. Next, number five. What country is that? What flag is that from the, flag, from the country of? What? Country of Australia. Very good. How about the last flag? What country is that? What flag is that? It's the flag of the USA. Very good. Next. Open your book on page 8 and let's play a short game. Are you ready? Again, let's play a short game. Question number one. What is the first month of the year? Again, what is the first month of the year? A. January B. February Letter C. December Again, what is the first month of the year? Is it January is it February or is it December? What is your answer? The answer is January. Very good. Next, number two. 30 plus 30 is what? 30 plus 30 is what? A, 50. B, 80. C, 60. Again, 30 plus 30 is what? A, 50. B, 80. C, 60. What is your answer? The answer there is... 60. Very good. Next, number 3. 25 plus 5 is what? 25 plus 5 is what? A. 55 B. 30 C. 25 Again, 25 plus 5 is A. 55 B. 30 C. 25 what is your answer? The answer there is 30. Very good. Next. I want you to get your yellow books, write the date today, and write their activity number one. Write the comparative form of these words. Number one. What is a comparative word for new? Number two. What is the comparative for long? Number three. What is the comparative word for nice? Number four. What is the comparative word for big? 
Number five, what is the comparative form of good? I'll give you three minutes to answer. Next, number six. What is the comparative word for fat? Number seven. What is the comparative word for thin? Number eight. What is the comparative word for smooth? Number nine. What is the comparative word for hard? And last but not the least, what is the comparative word for short? I'll be giving you five minutes to answer. Next, write their activity number two. Write the comparative sentences using the verbs in the brackets. Number one, my house is big than yours. Again, my house is big than yours. Write the comparative word for big. Next, number two. This dress is pretty than that one. Again, this dress is pretty than that one. What do you think is the comparative word for pretty? Again, what do you think is the comparative word for pretty? Don't forget to write your answers on the space provided. Next, number three, a holiday by the sea is good than a holiday in the mountains. Again, a holiday by the sea is good than a holiday in the mountains. Again, what is the comparative word for good? What is the comparative word for good? I'll be giving you five minutes to answer your yellow book. Don't forget to write your answers on the space provided. Next, number four. The weather this summer is even bad than last summer. Again, the weather this summer is even bad than last summer. What do you think is a comparative word for bad? Again, what do you think is a comparative word for bad? Next, number five. I think mathematics is hard than English. I think mathematics is hard than English. What do you think is a comparative word for hard? Again, what do you think is a comparative word for hard? Don't forget to write your answers on the space provided. I'll be giving you three minutes to answer your yellow book. Okay, let's review the lessons that we have discussed today. We have learned about first, family members. The family members are father, mother, brother, sister, and baby. We also have learned about another kind of Family, which is called extended family, where your grandparents, your aunt, your uncle, your cousins are living together with you in a household. We have also learned about comparatives. Examples are tall, taller, smart, smarter, big, bigger, fast, faster, and many more. We have also discussed about Months of the year, what are those? We have there January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and November. And then they are there are 12 months in a year. We have also discussed about number in words and sentences like 10. T E N 20 T W E N T Y 30 T H I R T Y and so on. We have also learned and discussed different kinds of flags from different countries. We have there Egypt, Australia, Russia, the UK, Thailand, the USA, and many more. Now, 
For your homework, I want you to read and answer page 8 on your class book. Again, for your homework, I want you to read and answer page 8 on your class book. That's it for today. I hope that you have learned a lot from me. See you again on my next class. Goodbye!